Recently, I have passed the DP600 exam from Microsoft. And in this video, I will discuss on the strategies which I have followed uh, while writing this exam, uh, which I think can help you as well. To start with, uh, I have a Telegram channel which you consider to join uh, where all the links of the study materials has been shared. Even if you don't want to join the channel, I will share that in my video description as well. So the first step would be to procure the free voucher for this exam. Uh, so today, if you want to write this exam from India, it will cost around 6000 rupees. Uh, but there is a way you can procure this voucher absolutely free from Microsoft. So without any further delay, let's start into uh, that process. So this is the first link. Uh, so from here, like if you uh, participate in this AI skill challenge, which is been organized by Microsoft, at the end of that particular challenge, you will be able to get that voucher absolutely free. So there are a couple of pathways, uh, but I would suggest you follow the Microsoft Fabric uh, if you select that Microsoft Fabric and you register for this particular course, it will take you to this particular uh, learning path. And if you just click on continue learning, you will see there are around 20 modules, if I'm not wrong. And it will be the base of your preparation. It will give you, uh, like if you go into this, uh, any of the modules, it will, uh, it will give you all the necessary Microsoft uh, documentation link and also like if you have some trial uh, account which you can use to practice uh, this hands-on exercise uh, which has been given in this modules so at the end of this particular uh, learning path uh, Microsoft will be sharing the free voucher with you which you can use to uh, schedule your exam okay so with that, our first have been done, like we are all like you, you should be doing it in parallel because it will take some time to complete all these modules. But uh, once you are into this particular course, parallelly, you can also explore uh, these links which I'm sharing you. So, so this is one uh, blog post which I have found where they are actually providing all the links uh, which are actually mapped with the certain uh, areas of your preparation. Like uh, the, this entire exam is being structured in a way like uh, all the tools which are related to Microsoft Analytics uh, are being covered. There are a lot of grounds that you need to cover, SQL, Power BI, uh, Spark, Fabrics, uh, Concepts, all those things are mapped with their individual uh, Microsoft Learn link or the documentation link. So, so this is a handy way that where you can get all those particular links uh, which you need to go through. Okay, so this is the first link. This is the second link and this is a wonderful blog post uh, of Data Mozart. I think people already know this guy who are working in this piece and Microsoft uh, Analytics piece for uh, some time now. So he has uh, done a very uh, beautiful job, uh, you know, uh, summarizing all the things that you need to uh, kickstart your preparation. So, and there are, uh, by the way, there are lots of other topics uh, you, you can get from this blog post. Okay, so you can explore them and you can have some better understanding of the concepts which are difficult to understand if you directly go through Microsoft uh, learning links. Okay, now this is the most important link. Like once you are a bit familiar with the Fabric's concepts and all the offerings uh, which Fabric have, you can just straight away give this practice exam. Okay, and this is absolutely free. And so like people who are having an experience of giving Microsoft exams, they know, right? Uh, around 30 to 40 percent questions there is a possibility you can get from this practice data sets itself so give this exam multiple times so that there is a probability that you get some new questions in each and every sets or most of the questions will be repeating but uh, in between those particular sets you will be getting some of the unique questions 
okay so go through them learn them and also you will be having a much better idea about your preparation that which are the areas where you need to focus okay and last but not the list uh, this is an link uh, which i found while searching in the um, randomly that this is an exam topics link and they have actually given you some of the uh, you know uh, what i can say it's dump it's not a dump but a comprehensive one like for that i think you need to buy or purchase something but even there are around 28 questions they are i think are enough uh, if you if you want to test your knowledge okay so this uh, there are some ambiguity in some of the answers uh, because this is community driven but once you have better understanding of those topics you go into the discussion forums and you will be able to understand it's like okay which is the most voted uh, answer out of that particular uh, question sets and you can decide for yourself like which should be your answer uh, if you actually getting that particular question in your exam so this is in short that you should be uh, preparing there are a lot of other things that you can also explore uh, you can let me know in comments what are the new blog posts or what are the other strategies that you can follow and um, while taking this exam uh, so i think to kick start your preparation uh, and if you want to give it in a time band manner let's say one or two weeks i think uh, it should be uh, enough like if you diligently study each and every uh links or the blogs that I have shared with you this should be enough to pass this exam uh with that i'm just ending this video all the best for your exam thanks